Meet the Rafale, a jet that's not just a marvel of engineering, but a symbol of modern air superiority. Developed by Dassault Aviation, the Rafale has earned its reputation as one of the most versatile and powerful fighter jets in the world. But what makes it so special? Stick around because by the end of this video, you'll understand why nations are racing to get their hands on it and how one shocking incident put its reputation to the test. Before we dive deeper, if you're into military tech, fighter jets, or global defense updates, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss a breakdown like this. And if you're already subscribed, welcome back aviation enthusiast. The Rafale story began in the 1980s when France sought a homegrown multi-role fighter to reduce its dependence on foreign jets. After years of development and refinement, the Rafale made its first flight in 1986. It officially entered service in 2001 with the French Navy and soon after the French Air Force. Its name means gust of wind in French, fitting for an aircraft known for its speed, precision and flexibility. Designed to dominate in air-to-air -air combat, air-to-ground missions and reconnaissance, the Rafale is packed with cutting-edge tech. At its heart is the RBE-2AESA radar, giving it the ability to detect and track multiple targets at once. It also features the Spectra electronic warfare system for jamming and protection. Combine this with speeds over Mach 1.8 and the ability to hit 50,000 feet in altitude and you're looking at a true multi-role powerhouse. Quick question for you, if you had to choose between the Rafale and the F-35, which one would you bet on in a dogfight? Let us know in the comments below. We read every one. Inside the cockpit, the pilot has total control, thanks to voice command systems, helmet-mounted sights, and hands-on throttle and stick design. It can carry air-to-air -air missiles, guided bombs, cruise missiles, and even nuclear weapons. It's also refuelable mid-air, making it perfect for long missions across regions. In real combat, the Rafale has seen plenty, from enforcing no-fly zones in Libya in 2011 to precision strikes in Mali in 2013 and anti-terror operations in Iraq and Syria. This jet has proved its reliability time and time again. During the 2020 India-China standoff, Indian Rafales were deployed to Ladakh, showing just how central the jet has become to national defense strategies. But even the best technology has its limits. In a surprising twist, Pakistan reportedly became the first and only country to down a Rafale, operated by the Indian Air Force. This event shook the global defense community, sparking heated debates and serious analysis. Whether you're a supporter or skeptic, there's no denying the significance and risk involved when advanced jets meet real-world combat. What's your take on that incident? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We're keen to hear your perspective. Let's talk raw power. The Rafale can lock onto 40 targets at once and engage eight of them simultaneously. It's stealthy, agile, and capable of tight maneuvers at blistering speeds. Its fly-by-wire system allows it to handle extreme combat turns and dogfights with ease. It's no exaggeration to call it a pilot's dream machine. Of course, all this excellence comes at a hefty price. One Rafale costs between 85 to 100 million US dollars, depending on the version and extras. India's contract for 36 jets, a whopping $8.7 billion. Each flight hour alone can cost over $16,000. But when national security is on the line, many would argue it's worth every cent. And Rafale's influence is growing. Nations like Egypt, Greece, Indonesia, the UAE and Qatar are lining up to buy. Leading defense publications and experts have praised its performance and multi-role capacity. Meanwhile, Dassault Aviation is working on next-gen upgrades including AI integration and even better stealth. So, is the Rafale truly unmatched or has the balance of power shifted? Would you want your country to invest in it? Let's get the discussion going in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. If you learned something new or enjoyed this deep dive, go ahead and smash that like button, share this video, and most importantly, subscribe for more high impact military tech content every week. We're just getting started. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay sharp and stay informed.